octane is A and then G, F, E, D. So, so this is all pretty simple. It's just that five finger pattern. A, and you want to lift right up and get right down to F sharp down there with your pinky and your thumb. So, so one way of practicing that is hit your pinky on D and just try going mm. try and do it without looking at the piano too okay. notice how I'm using my fourth finger and fifth finger together right it just gives me a little bit more so when I'm hitting this it gives me a little bit more support for that pinky okay All right, so anyway G in octaves, and then G, D, G, A, A, F, A, okay, so it's, and when I'm doing it is I'm hitting an F in the left hand, I bet you now and again I'm probably messing up when I play it and hit an E by accident, happens so fast you wouldn't even hear it, but the reason I'm putting the F in is because it's an F over A chord. Oops. And then we end up at the B flat in the left hand. So let's put it together here. So and we go to that C7 over B flat, which is B flat, E, and G, and B flat in the left hand. So again. So now, let me do it from the... Right? Now some of these chords you'll notice that when you, when you stop on them, they might sound a little bit tense. Don't worry though, you have to think that it's a tension release and you just happen to be stopping at a tense point right now. But when you put it all together... It sounds nice.